What's going on guys? I'm back here with another unboxing. So I figured we unbox these two little guys here. Roll them around in the house. See how they do. Uh, I got these a few, maybe a, not even more than a few days ago. Maybe a week ago. Um, uh, they have lights guys. That's really awesome. They're different. I had the Rapid Racers uh, by them. Um, but they had no lights. So this one has lights. I don't I don't know if it has rear lights, guys. It doesn't really say anything. But it does show front lights here. So let's get these little guys unboxed and check them out. They are 2.4 gigahertz. So you're going to get some distance. Uh, what else do we got on the back here? A little preview here of uh, their transmitter and all the other, RC, um, the other ones. I got these two, could not find those two. So let's go ahead and open these up. They look really cool, guys. I, I like it. Give me one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this one. We'll open up this one first. Right here is a piece of tape here. Okay, so it should be very easy to get out since it's just a little box. Okay, that's opened up. Got your manual here. I very doubt that anyone would need it. Alright, so let's check this out here. This is one of those manuals that opens up all big. I don't really think you'll need that. Here it is, guys. So it is taped down, but I brought some scissors because I've seen those little rubber bands. So I'm going to cut these off and cut this one through here. I'll just chop these off through here little guys now free so we're going to need some batteries oh wow two double A's I got those so I'm gonna grab those real quick guys so we can start it um, charging it up so we can use it all right guys batteries are in you can see the transmitter is now flashing there is no on and off switch on this so as soon as you touch it it will stay on until it can't pair and then it will shut off um, Let's look at the little, well, we'll take a look at this because it is a little different. So you got your up, down, left, right, and your batteries are in here. Of course, you guys saw that. And then this is different, guys. Right there. That's how you charge your car. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the car. Well, let's first take a look at it. This is the little truck. And I do suggest... That if uh, you have, uh, you know, sisters or your mom has long hair, you might want to sweep up your floor first so that that way it doesn't get caught into these little, well, right here, it'll get caught up in the tires and it, it, it really does. It starts slowing it down and it's not as easy to get out. Sometimes you got to take the whole car apart, but, uh. It looks pretty cool, guys. I like it. it looks good. Uh, there's your charging port right there. Your on and off switch is right here. There it is. It is now on, but I don't see anything. No light or anything. So I'm going to turn it back off. You can see the transmitter turned off already. So I'm going to put this on. This is a foolproof. So you can only put this on one way. Oh wow, it immediately started charging. So we'll go ahead and let this little, oh wait a minute, it turned off. There we go. Okay, so that one's already open. We'll go ahead and open this one. We'll 
slide this over and just put it right here for now. It'll be out of frame, but it is still on, guys. It's still on. So now let me go ahead and open this one up. These were $10, by the way, guys. Walmart. So the cool thing about it is if you like these, you will be able to go purchase one right after the video if you want. You know, because it's just right here in Walmart. I interrupted a little bit. Damn cats. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this one off. It's got the scissors right here. Snip it from right here. There we go. Wait, almost. There we go. All right, so that's how. And now let's go ahead and chop this. And this. there we go. The car is now free. Same thing, guys. Same thing exact thing charging this is how you charge it light indicator letting you know it's on and charging you guys can see what it's doing while it's charging it just stays on and it will take a while so i'm going to go ahead and take these off put in these cheap batteries that i bought well actually i didn't buy them my wife did i Really don't like those kind of batteries, but it will do the trick. And the car is exactly the same thing. Charging port is right there, on and off switch, and your lights are there. It does have some, uh... wait, are those see-through? I don't know, they look kind of like see-through. So it could have rear lights, maybe. Nothing. Maybe it's one of those cars that only, yeah, that only turns on when you, oh yeah, we got rear lights, guys. Awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And oh wow, when it's paired it it just stays on. Is that how that works? See this one stood on, remember it stood on. I don't know. This one doesn't it's not on. Hmm, that's weird. Alright, not too hard. Don't push down too hard. So we'll let these charge up a bit. So far, guys, these things feel pretty good. Had I put, um, like, you know, some decent door cells in there, it would give the transmitter a little more weight, therefore adding balance to it. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty cool. I like that. I like that it has rear lights, you know, because it gets pretty dark over here. And then sometimes you, when, you're, when you're playing around, you uh, when I go into my kitchen in the late night and I'm goofing around with the RCs, I cannot see after so having front lights is is uh cool but having uh reverse lights or actual lights too makes it even all that much better so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear this up guys and we'll start uh, testing them out and see how they run so give me one second to do that all right guys this one's already fully charged it just turns off so that's what that does when it's fully charged it will turn off and uh, this is in the off position. So you see there's your little switch. So this one's done. So let's go ahead and start trying this out. Move some more stuff here. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this started. These things go pretty quick too. I, I haven't tried it. I haven't, but from my other little rapid racers, they were pretty fast. So I'm expecting some decent speeds out of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Turn that on. All right, so there it is. This is the 
this here little truck. I believe this one is a Bronco. I forgot what this one was. What is this kind of car? Well, there's boxes ain't here anymore. And um, one more thing, guys. And um, just make sure that when you open these up, don't open them like a madman and start ripping out of the box because sometimes they may not work. And because they don't work, you will have to take them back. And if you destroy all the box, sometimes Walmart won't accept it. So keep that in mind. So here we go, guys. Look at that. Seems pretty zippy. It's going to be harder to film because it's so tiny. Oh yeah, definitely some fun. Oh yeah, these are pretty good guys. I definitely recommend this. 10 bucks, you can't beat that with a stick. That is really good fun for 10 bucks. I'm buying all of them. And I'm serious, I'm gonna go buy all of them guys. These actually work really good. Alright. This one's still charging, but I can see the light's flickering, so it's almost done. It should be done. Okay, so that one's on. Oh, wow. Alright, this one seems faster. Or at least I just think it seems faster. I'm telling you guys, these things are pretty zippy. And the lights are definitely bright. Wow, this one's pretty zip. These things are pretty fast. I thought they were going to be slow, guys. Like, you know, slow. But no, this is actually fairly good. And with it having 2.4 gigahertz, I can actually drive it. Let's take a drive into the kitchen here. And we'll put that right here. And let's see how far I can get before it starts acting done. Yeah, I figured I'd be able to do that. So these things have a pretty good distance, good speed. So if you need them to go over little little ramps and stuff, it can. So you can make a little cardboard track. Today, it's in California today, it's like rainy, but then again, it's not. I don't know. We've been having a lot of those days. That's why I wanted to open these up on a rainy day. And now the sun is starting to come out, but there's so many clouds, it keeps getting dark, and then um, light, you know, so the sun comes out, goes back in, so it's really cloudy over here today. And this is perfect to do while you're inside. Perfect. You know, you can always give one to your wife, and you guys could just goof around together. Because they're so easy to drive. They're not like insanely fast. So your loved ones should be able to uh, enjoy them with you. You know what I didn't see is any steering trim. Yeah, no steering. Oh yeah, there it is. Guys, look at there is steering trim. See it? So these things are pretty sweet. Man, they just keep getting better. All right, this one's kind of going to the right. Let's see if I can get this a little better. Oh, it's still going. Let's see. Let's see, here we go. Oh yeah, much better. This one seems slow, guys. I think this one's battery is not so charged up. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really like these. These are pretty cool, guys. Make that left and right. See how it's already gathering up all the fur from the cats and stuff? 
so that's the only thing that sucks about them. Alright, let me try this one again. Yeah, this one seems to be faster and it drives even better too. Although they, they both drive very, very acceptable. So they, they drive very good guys. I would say even a little bit better than the Rapid ones. Oh wow, flipped over. Yeah. It's the only thing the transmitters get mixed up real easily. Yeah, so this is pretty cool, guys. So I definitely recommend this at your local Walmart, right? Right now, too. Right now, these are there. But you know, it's that time of the season, you know, where people buy a bunch of gifts for their kids and stuff. And uh, this is why they're there. So they should have a lot. Not bad, guys. Really, really fun. You can really goof around with these and have a decent time. Especially with those lights. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the dark. Right now. So, it's completely in the dark now. It's at least as dark as I can get it, guys. Definitely visible. Let's see the reverse light. From right here. Oh yeah, definitely. These little guys are pretty awesome for 10 bucks. See, those are the reverse lights. Really awesome. You know, they kind of remind me of a time when I was a kid. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, those that are older, but there were some micro machines that came out. They were, you know, they're little tiny cars and stuff. Um, I had some that were little, little RCs. I mean, um, they weren't RCs. They were little cars. They were push. But if you push down on them, the lights would turn on, you know? And I had some of those, and I thought they were awesome. And it kind of reminds me of them. It's not as small as a micro machine, but as soon as you would press down, you would see the back and front lights turn on. Kind of reminds me of that. Really good guys, this is really awesome. And I like the fact that it uses double A's, so you should be able to get quite a lot of charges out of there. I like the way this Bronco, this Bronco is pretty fast. See that, look at that. You can see the speed. You can actually see it. When I'm filming, you can see the speed. So that's pretty much the end of this one guys. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. These are, yeah, this one here, you can see it does say it. This one's the Jeep Gladiator Ford Bronco. So there is a way to tell the difference between the transmitters. Another awesome thing about them, uh, they're both pretty good, guys. You can find any of these inside Walmart. I suggest you pick them up. You'll have a great time. Um, so thanks a lot for watching guys and I will be back with some more RC stuff and some more handheld games. So thanks a lot for watching.